Hello scientists, hope you're having a good day. Um, we are into the final countdown, which I will show you now. Oh, first, what I want to show you is, um, one of the things you might be looking at is astronauts and their space diary while, tra while they travel to the moon. But you might not know, or you might have figured out already, that when they are in zero gravity, if they are not near something that they can grab onto, it's actually very hard to move around, and they can get stuck very easily. So here is a GIF of an astronaut trying to... Oh, he's done it. We'll watch from the start now. It's going to loop. There he is. He's out in the middle of nowhere. And he's just trying to wave his arm around, arms around. Because there's zero gravity. There's nothing for him to push off. There's no air or anything for him to push off. <laughs> he's just got to try to generate a tiny bit of momentum. Oh, and he's done it. That would be tough. So, I don't know if that's something you could include in your astronaut's diary. Could be interesting. This one. If you're doing the orbits of the planets and the seasons, uh, orbits of the Earth and the Moon around the Sun and the seasons, this is actually something really interesting that you might not have realized. The Sun is not just staying there fixed, but it is um, also moving through space. You can see in this like straight line here, the Sun's moving through space. And we've got these planets moving around it. So these are all planets. Um, and it looks like the green one is us on Earth because we've got two smaller ones doing smaller orbits. So these, this is actually how the orbits work. They don't just sit in one space and just go around and around. The universe is actually expanding, so it's still moving outwards. And the planets are moving around the sun even as it is moving further and further from the center of the universe because everything in the universe is expanding and moving outwards. So you might be able to include that in your, um, just as a little bit of extra information for your orbits of the planets and the seasons and the moon and the earth around the sun. Um, this is just a cool one. It doesn't really fit with any of the topics, but this is the NASA Mars rover just driving through New York City, moving it to a new place. Doesn't it look like a toy? But it's legit NASA and it's got this, um, is that a GoPro on the side? Yeah, there's a GoPro on the side. And it's got these uh, film crews following it. Ooh, security. So yeah, pretty cool, hey? The NASA Mars rover. It's massive. Look how big it is. It's like a big truck moving through New York. Pretty cool, huh? Um, and just before I show you the task stuff, um, this... Uh, if you're doing some sort of like constellations and stuff, this might be interesting for you. This is a picture of the entire universe that we know. This, whoops, this is it. And you'll see on the next photo something that makes this seem just massive. But they have stitched together all these different photos of different sections of the night sky to create a photo. This is all of the universe that we know about is in this photo. As you'll see on the next page, um, this is a bigger version, this is a smaller version, so this is zoomed in. This much is a million light years. So it takes a million years to go, come back, this far. So that far, so to go from here to here takes light one million years. That's how far away. Um, and light travels, it's the fastest thing we know, is how fast light travels. Um, and this is us. This is our galaxy here. That's an entire galaxy. That is the Milky Way right there. Any dot or mark that you see it is an entire galaxy. And look at all the marks. There are some faint ones as well. They are entire galaxies. There are around, I'll teach you how to read big numbers. These are thousands. These are hundred thousands. These are millions and these are billions. So there's 200 billion, 200 billion galaxies in the universe. And every galaxy contains billions of stars. So 200 billion times a billion, that's how many stars there are, like our sun. 
and each star possibly has some planets in orbit, just like our star has um, eight planets in orbit, plus Pluto. 200 billion galaxies. Every dot on here is a galaxy, and this is us. Here we are, so tiny. Everything you've ever known or ever seen is on a tiny part of this tiny dot. Look, I can cover it with my mouse. That is one galaxy out of 200 billion. So that might be interesting to you if you're doing the constellations project. Um, and this, um, this could be to do with the astronaut suit. Normally when astronauts walk around on the space station on the outside or, or wherever they are, they're tethered, so they're tied down with a special cable that means they don't float off into space, just like that astronaut who might have floated, uh, just stayed stuck in that position. If you're just um, floating off, then you can't get back. This is the first untethered spacewalk, so he doesn't have any tethers back to the um, shuttle. He's just got this mobile unit. It's like the astronaut jetpack. This was in 1984, and this photo makes me feel stressed. He's out there in space, he's not tethered, he's just floating around using his jetpack, but this is the first time that it's ever been done for real. Who knows if the jetpack's gonna fail or not, you're just stuck out in space. So yeah, this photo gives me anxiety. <laughs> this was the first untethered spacewalk. Maybe it could be part of your, um, your project to do with astronaut suits. And just a final reminder, Year 5, this is what you're doing today, countdown to blast off. Keep working and check the assignment description. Make sure you have read all of these um, because it's possible that you have missed something. You think you're done because you did it really fast. But, for example, if you didn't put it in your own words and you didn't have any references, everyone always forgets the references, make sure you put that in. If you didn't have that stuff, that could be the difference between an A and a B or an A plus and a C plus. So make sure that you have got all of these. Check it yourself, make sure it's all in the excellent standard. Um, and if you want some feedback, upload it here. It's gonna be due on Friday, this Friday. And when you do submit it, year five, just a heads up, you're not gonna submit it to anything in week five, even though it is due in week five. Oops. It's gonna be in this actual research assignment here. This is the official one because this is the one that counts um, towards your reports grade. And it has the assignment there. Um, and I've got my introduction. This was the very first video we did on this. So you can go back and watch that as well, which is a really good idea. Okay, so keep going. Check the assignment descriptions and the criteria. Upload it for feedback. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Year 5s. Bye.